let us come to the chemical cross linking agents which damage dna so there are many alkylating agents which have two reactive sites and these two reactive sites can form intra strand or inter strand cross links in addition to the formation of monoadducts because there are two sites present in these uh, agents so they can uh, uh, make uh, monoadducts as well as cross links inter strand cross links that is the cross link between two different strands this is inter strand cross links they are of special interest because they prevent strand separation during replication you know uh, the during replication the two strands must be separated so they prevent them uh, from uh, separation and if these uh, uh, cross are not corrected they are lethal to the cells because the uh, cells uh, the strands will not be able to separate and replication uh, will not proceed and that leads to the cell death so here you can uh, see uh, different types of uh, damages for example here it is uh, mono adduct formation uh, and here is intercalation some uh, some chemicals are intercalated in the dna and here is the cross link which is inter strand so this cross link is between two strands and here is the cross link which is intra strand so this is between the same strand so these are different types of uh, reactions which damage the dna so one of the simplest cross linking agents is uh, nitrogen mustard gas which is bis to chloroethyl methylamine it damages uh, dna by forming inter strand cross links it forms the inter strand cross link between two strands it does so by attacking n7 on two guanines which are present on the opposite strands of the dna double helix so there uh, may be uh, at several points that in uh, one side if guanine is present exact uh, exactly opposite to guanine will be cytosine definitely but adjacent to cytosine or in the neighboring of cytosine another guanine may be present so this nitrogen mustard gas it uh, uh, forms uh, intercross link between two guanines here uh, you can see this uh, intercross so uh, this is one guanine and this is another guanine and this is nitrogen mustard between two guanines here you can see this is uh, one strand and this is the second strand and here you can see this this is this is intercross uh, linking by this nitrogen mustard so in this way the two strands are linked to each other so although uh, this uh, uh, nitrogen mustard is a very toxic substance but this has found clinical applications as a chemotherapeutic agent for treating certain forms of cancer because the aim to treat cancer is to kill the cancer cell and such substances as nitrogen mustard gas they lead to the death of cells by stopping the replication